So what we get drunk? So what we smoke weed? We're just having fun. We don't care who sees. So what we go out? That's how it's supposed to be. Living young and wild and free. Hey guys, me and Marshall are back at it. Want to do a little, uh, I want to do a, I'm not sure what I wanted to do. I don't know if it's a package opening. What comes in the package? I don't know if it's a review. Can't review it yet. Um, it's an advice. I need advice. I I bought a wrench shift shifter for for the E. Um, I've had it now for six, seven, eight months, and I have not put it in because <clears throat> I've already finished my carpet. The carpet's glued down and. It, it goes up over the the shifter base and then the boot comes down sits real pretty on top and everything and it's finished but this is a little different uh the run shift i got it from uh j west engineering um they have a bunch of videos out on it and and uh that's how i was i found out about it watching the videos um it's a really neat setup, neat system for the, the shifter on it. Anyways, um, this is what comes with it. So you have your base, billet aluminum. They have the tower, has the guts and everything in it. Um, and that's all exposed. Then your boot goes down to here. You know, covers like that. So the bottom half is is exposed. So the predicament that I, that I'm in is, do I want to cut the carpet out around it, have all of it exposed? Which you know, I I, I don't have a problem with that. It's I mean, it, it's a good looking unit. Um, you know, it's a it's a nice looking unit. So, anyways, you got you got your base. Now this is you could adjust this for how much spring, how much pressure you want going from side to side. First, second springs over to fourth, fifth springs over to uh, you know third, fourth, fifth. Anyways. Um, it's just a it's just a neat neat design neat setup you got your hardware all your bolts and and all that good stuff uh like i said you have your boot comes with two uh, uh straps for it and your shifter rod or your shifter i guess um they have two sizes the stock size is right here I wanted it longer because I sit back further in, in the car and and I didn't want to have to reach, you know, reach up as far. Anyways, I got it with uh, just the ball, aluminum ball knob for it. And it comes with the instructions. Um, it's a no-brainer. I ordered the... The coupling, their coupling, that if you ever tried to adjust your your shifter and your linkage, uh, you know behind the rear seat in the in the 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 cover, open that up and that's all your 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 linkage, your your coupler that that goes on the shaft of the of the tranny, so. You you have to adjust that up and down, you know, every which way to get it to shift right. There's there the original coupling has a nut on this side, bolt on this side, 
and you have to have your two 13, 13 millimeter wrenches in there trying to tight, tighten it down without, without moving it up and down the, the shaft. So anyways, um, this is what I have. This is the, the predicament that I'm in. I, I, I haven't put it in yet. Like I said, I had it for six months. I just, uh, I'm, I'm, I, I don't want to pull that carpet up. I don't want to destroy it. Um, I think I, I think I will just cut this plate out and then re-glue it around it and have that all exposed. Um, you guys let me know. What do you think? What, what are your recommendations? So what do you guys think? Um, I need recommendations. Should I tear all the carpet back up and then have it go up over the base, you know, that much of the base, I guess, or do I cut this base out completely and have that exposed with, with that like that? You know, I, I don't mind that. I, like that I don't mind that but you know it is what it is but it is what it is uh, so let me know what you think um, you guys have a great one I'll talk to you later bye